Hey guys, and today I'm going to show you how to use this PLDT modem as a Wi-Fi extender or as an external router using a LAN cable. We will first off reset this modem. The owner of this modem decided to disconnect their PLDT service because they don't want the service anymore. We'll connect a LAN cable here to our computer. And on the computer, as you can see, no internet access. But we can still access the PLDT URL. 192.168.1.1. Enter. Okay, click advanced here and proceed down below. Okay, so we're in this page and we will now change this link right after the dash here for the super user activation to activate the super admin access. This is a very long link. So for you, I am going to paste this link down in the description below. Hit enter. Okay, access error. Request as illegal. That's perfectly okay. That's all good to go. Now we can access the super admin page by replacing this link with FH. Okay, enter and there we go. As you can see, it says here administrator. And the username for that is admin PLDT, this one. Okay, there you go. And the password is here. I will also paste this information in the description below. Okay, in this page, we're going to just paste the old password because it's asking us to create a new one. Let's just put in a new password. Confirm new password. Apply. Okay, access successful. We will now log in using the new password. Great, we're logged in and just click network here. We will be choosing this VID slash priority that says 1025 slash zero. Okay, enable and select internet and bridge. Okay, let's just keep it that way. Let's try the port here. LAN 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, port's already bound. Let's try LAN 1. Okay, the same error. Let's just use LAN 4. Alright, that works. That's all good. We will now check the one status. Okay, so the 1025 down here it says bridge and internet state is down, but that's perfectly okay. Since I don't know the default password of the Wi-Fi, I cannot connect to the Wi-Fi. So what we are going to do is create a new one instead. Let's go back to the URL 192.168.1.1. Enter. Okay, advanced again. Proceed. Okay, this is the basic access here. Admin, password 1234, login. Okay, it's asking us to make a new password. So let's just put 1234 here. Create a new password for the page. And then the 2.4G SSID or the 5G SSID, just create any name and password for that so we're going back logging into the page here with a new password okay since we've already created a new ssid and password for the modem let's now connect to the wi-fi okay it shows here los red light blinking that's because the modem does not have a fiber connected to it anymore but we have a LAN cable connected from the main router, which is the PLDT also. It's connected here, LAN 4. 
which is the port that we chose for this bridge. Okay, as you can see, there is no fiber cable connected to this. And testing here, we have connected the phone to our Wi-Fi and it says signal strength excellent YouTube it's working we have internet connection okay I'll also connect my laptop here with the same password same SSID Malpan okay connected let's try Chrome here let's also go to YouTube it works it's connected